Welcome to the introduction of Django. To Django. So we're gonna go to the uh, Mozilla Developer Network, WebDocs. We're gonna go to the references and guides. You can click on the Learn Web Development section. And then we'll uh, come down here to where it says Django Web Framework. We'll click on the introduction. All right, so Django introduction. In this Django article, we answer the question, what is Django? And give uh, you an overview of what makes this web framework special. We'll outline the main features, including some of the advanced functionality that we don't have time to cover in detail in this module. Uh, we'll also <coughs> show you some of the main building blocks of a Django application. Although at this point, you won't yet have a development environment in which to test it. Uh, so the pre prerequisites are basic computer literacy, uh, general understanding of server-side website programming, and in particular, the mechanics of uh, client-side interactions in websites. The objective is to gain familiarity with, Jan with what Django is, uh, what functionality it provides, and the main building blocks of a Django application. So what is Django, you might be asking. Uh, Django is a high-level Python web framework that enables rapid development of secure and maintainable websites. Built by experienced developers, Django takes care of much of the hassle of web development. Uh, so if you can focus on writing your app without needing to reinvent the wheel, um, it is free and open source, uh, has a thriving and active community, great documentation, and many options for free and paid support. Django helps you write software that is complete. So Django follows the batteries included philosophy and provides almost everything uh, developers might want to do out of the box because everything you need is part of the one product it all works seamless, seamlessly together, follows consistent design principles, and has extensive and up-to-date documentation. Uh, it's versatile. Django can be and has been used to build almost any type of website, from content management systems and wikis through to social networks and news sites. It can work with any client-side framework and can deliver content in almost any format, including HTML, RSS feeds, JSON, XML, etc. The site you are currently reading is built with Django. Internally, while it provides choices for almost any functionality you might want, uh, for example, several popular databases, template engines, etc., it can also be extended to use other components if needed. Secure. Django helps developers avoid many common security mistakes by providing a framework that has been engineered to do the right things to protect the website automatically. For example, Django provides a secure way to manage user accounts and passwords, avoiding common mistakes like putting session information in cookies where it is vulnerable. Instead, cookies just contain a key and the actual data is stored in the database or directly stored <coughs> or directly storing passwords rather than a password hash. By the way, a password hash is a fixed length value created by sending the password through a cryptographic hash function. Django can check if an entered password is correct by running it through the hash function and comparing the output to the stored hash value. However, due to the one-way nature of the function, even if a stored function value, uh, if a stored hash value is compromised, it is hard for an attacker to work out the original password. Django enables protection against many vulnerabil vulnerability vulnerabil vulnerabilities <laughs> by default including SQL injection, cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery, and clickjacking. See website security for more details on such attacks. Scalable. <clears throat> Django uses a component-based shared 
nothing architecture. Each part of the architect architecture is independent of the others and can hence be replaced or changed if needed. Having a clear independent, having a clear separation between the different parts means that it can scale for increased traffic by adding hardware at any level, <coughs> catching servers, database servers, or application servers. Some of the busiest sites have successfully scaled Django to meet their demands. For example, Instagram and Discuss to name just two. Maintainable. Django code is written using design principles and patterns that encourage the creation of maintainable and reusable code. In particular, it makes use of the don't repeat yourself dry principle. Uh, so there is no unnecessary duplication, reducing the amount of code. Uh, Django also promotes the grouping of related functionality into reusable applications and at a lower level groups related code into modules along the lines of the model view controller MVC pattern. Portable. Django is written in Python, which runs on many platforms. That means that you are not tied to any particular server platform and can run your application on many flavors of Linux, Windows, and Mac OS X. Furthermore, Django is well supported by many web hosting providers who often provide specific infrastructure and documentation for hosting Django sites. So we'll begin in the next video at where did it come from? Where did Django come from? <clears throat> All right, thanks for watching. If uh, this helps, give it a like and I will see you in the next one.